ceremonies, please welcome to the field our rebel president of Indiana First Robotics, Renee Becker Blau. Congratulations, everybody. You're members of the very first FRC event that Finn has ever hosted. So you're making history. That's exciting. So I wanted to take an opportunity to share with you the purpose of First Indiana Robotics and why we rebranded some of our new initiatives, because I've gotten a lot of questions about it, mainly did headquarters make us do it? And the answer is no. So, Indiana First was an organization primarily dedicated to growing the first robotics competition program. At the end of last year, we became the program delivery partner for the first tech challenge and the first LEGO League junior program. And because of that, it became apparent that we needed to shift our mindset, break down the silos between programs, in order to provide more students in the state of Indiana access to FIRST. Every single student in this arena is privileged to have access to the FIRST program. Because in the FIRST program, we are teaching you to change the world. And to tell us a little bit more about that and our rebrand and why we do what we do and what we believe in is Mary Reinhardt, the first Indiana Robotics Vice Chairwoman of our Board of Directors. Mary? Good evening. As Renee said, my name is Mary Reinhardt, and I'm the Vice Chairman of the in First in Indiana Board of Directors, and it's such a pleasure to be with you here today. So you've seen our new First in Indiana logo and our slogan on our new social media and our website, but what does it mean? First in Indiana Robotics is a community, but we also build the communities in which we live. This is our future, and by participating on your teams and in the First in Indiana Robotics community, you are building it up in a positive way. I don't think anybody in here thinks anything differently. Our communities and workplaces sorely need people that can be adaptable, flexible, and communicate. As technology changes the way that we work, live, and lead our lives, we will need leaders who can lead in this area and bring people together instead of push people apart. My first robotic story is my reason for serving on the board of directors today. It wasn't so long ago that I was in your seats. First in Indiana Robotics has given me more than I have put into it. I grew up on Team 71, who is not here today, but is a legacy team in this division. And I was a part of Purdue FIRST programs during my time at Purdue University, which I understand is not a big, not a lot of fans of Purdue here in this town. <laughs> yeah, boiler up. <laughs> After college, I went on to become a teacher, and I was a mentor for Team 1018 during my time as a teacher. Um, I volunteered at many different events, um, and I now serve on the board of directors as well. Today, I'm the CEO and president of a company called First Makerspace, which is a tech-based education company. My brother and I grew up in First, and it changed our lives for the better. We grew up in a working class home, and First enabled us to see ourselves in a life that was different from our own. It gave us the spark, the vision, and the connections that we sorely needed. I have built a career, a family, and a life that I'm proud of. And I challenge all of you to do the same with the amazing opportunity that you've been given. This is our future. Let's build it together. So 
So Mary, at this point, I was going to actually award you a challenge coin that we had tried to create that had First Indiana Robotics on the front, and on the back it said, women are hashtag first in robotics, because that's one of our new initiatives. Unfortunately, due to some interesting challenges happening in China, I do not have a coin to present you or Chelsea Bowen or Terry Talbert Hatch, who are some of the fabulous female leaders of our organization. So if you can take an IOU and walk this way, we'll grab a photo of you in front of the Finn banner with Hugh, and that would be greatly appreciated. So. Mary did a great job at explaining why we do what we do. So if we can pull up those lovely PowerPoint slides, I definitely prepared for the AV team. Thank you, next slide. All right, so those who know me, you know I love Simon Sinek. Who knows who Simon Sinek is? Can I get a cheer? Can I get a cheer? All right, that's not a lot of cheering. And now I sound like a crowdathon. how exciting. So. Simon Sinek has this idea of the golden circle. And it's not about what you do, but why you do it. And so Mary did a great job at explaining why we do what we do. But I'm going to explain how we do what we do. So next slide. So first, Indiana Robotics believes that our future is built better together. And that <laughs> improving the world starts with our youth. Spoiler alert, for the, all the students in the stands, that's you. How exciting. Now, if we go to the next slide, what you'll notice, uh, that's too many slides. What? Mm. 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 Intriguing. All right, so the way we build our future <laughs> is through mentorship partnered with hands-on learning, problem solving, connected to community engagement, and core values applied in, in times of intense competition. Every single robotics program out there has hands-on learning. They have problem solving. Next slide. Nope, go back. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, and they have intense competition. But what makes our program unique is the fact that we are a mentoring organization. We apply problem solving to our community and we change the world by creating inventions that help people. And our core values do, you know, are shown in times of intense competition by allowing us to give away our break times, timeouts, et cetera to make sure that everyone else can compete at the highest level possible. And that is what makes First Indiana Robotics unique. All right, next slide. Are we getting anywhere? Uh, core values, intense competition? Okay, all right, this is fine. So, ultimately, it's about more than robots. First Indiana Robotics is a robotics community that prepares young people for life. So here's the fun part, and here's the exciting things about what we're up to. So this is our hashtag, first in robotics. When you abbreviate Indiana, it turns into in. That is the funniest marketing slogan I could have ever come up with, and is truly one of the reasons I'm very excited about our rebranding. So if anyone else thinks that that's hilarious, we can give like a cheer, round of applause. I mean. Not even Patrick's great state of Texas can say that they get to be called first in robotics. Just saying. So, next slide. I tried so hard to rebrand this organization into a classy group of individuals. Think like film noir, you know, cursive fin, all this beautiful stuff. And what did I get when you guys, you know, found out we were going to be called fin? I got, oh. Fin equals shark equals water game. I don't like this, but 
I'll go with it because I appreciate my students. So if you go to the next slide, we're going to do some work together, okay? So my student board of directors is made up of a group of students who are passionately pursuing the opportunity to expand the FIRST program in the state of Indiana. And what they want to do is raise approximately $7,500 in order to go to the FIRST advocacy conference, not to fundraise money for their robotics team, but to fundraise for every single first team in this state. And, hang on, and to give first, to give students, Hoosier students in the state of Indiana, access to first who do not currently have it. Okay, now you can share. All right, so I have a good friend of mine who told me that they would donate $100 for me to get my student board of directors to the first advocacy conference at the end of June. And they provided me a horrific shark fin to wear as part of this bet. And so for an hour, at every single event, I have to wear this. And we're gonna spin it around. It's a shark fin. Again. I tried to go with a classy group of individuals that get things done, but no, I get shark fin. So, I decided we're gonna have some fun with this because I don't know what else to do because I think the other option is to cry. So what we're gonna do here is this is our fin fundraiser. Woohoo! Uh, and so I have to wear it at every single FRC event for an hour, yay. But you have an option to use this dip jar to donate $20 per credit card swipe. And for every $100 that we fundraise, I will wear the fin for another hour at the event. I can't believe I'm doing this. All of my cohorts will think I'm an idiot. All right. Oh, people are holding up their credit cards. How exciting. I think we just got to two hours. Wow. We got some ways to go, everybody. Luckily, we have a couple of events. I did all the math, and I'm pretty sure I can make $7,500 by doing this. So we're just going to wing it. <sighs> so exciting. So the dip jar will be located at the welcome table. So you'll be able to swing on by, donate $20, and we'll provide updates for every hour I'm wearing the fin. But it gets better. How, you ask? Good job. My friend who uh, gave me this lovely uh, uh, fin uh, said that for every single photo that is on social media of me and the shark fin, they will donate another dollar per photo up to a hundred dollars. All right, so I need some help here. Can you do me a favor? Can you hold this? Hi. Can somebody uh, please start a timer? Because I don't want to wear this. All right, Rachel's got a timer. We got one hour. That's it, Until unless we get 100 bucks, and then we'll add to it. All right, I need my speech again. I'm not done yet. Sorry, everybody. I hope you're having a lot of fun here. So that's literally my fundraiser. Oh my gosh, it looks like terrible. Anyway, uh, if we could go back to my PowerPoint slides, hopefully. Where are we? OK, go to the next slide. All right, so it is selfie time. So everybody, get out your phones, because I need a unique photo with me in the background. And you need to tweet it at me. Yep, yep, so everyone get out, literally get out your phones, like I'm not kidding. We're here to make $100, come on. Cell phones, so I, I, don't see, I don't see cell phones, like I'm not kidding, I need you to take a selfie, like here's my shark fin. I'll do some poses, like it'll be fantastic. Okay, go to the next slide. 
So now that we know we're taking selfies, oh, no, next slide. This totally didn't go well. <laughs> Literally, next slide, guys. Come on. Uh, okay, so, nope, go back. Go to the question one. <laughs> okay, so since this person didn't say you had to tag anything interesting in the photo, but I do have a question I'd like you to answer. I figured I'd get some use out of this whole shenanigans that we are running in the state of Indiana. I think I'm turning bright red, probably as bright as this whole foam thing here. All right, so I need you to answer this question. You currently have a selfie, hopefully with me in the background. Hopefully we at least have 100 photos so we can really, really get this uh, whole thing going. But I would like you, when you tweet or Insta or whatever the heck you do nowadays, Snap, not Snapchat, Snapchat's terrible. Um, Facebook maybe, who knows, LinkedIn? Ah, preferably not, but okay. Um, but what I want you to answer is what problems do you want to solve in the world? And because it's only fair, I figured I would tell you the problem that I want to solve in the world as soon as we quiet down and listen. I learned this from the, my teacher friends. Thanks, Mr. Marley. So the problem that I want to solve in the world is that I believe, regardless of gender, race, or socioeconomic status, every single student should have the opportunity to choose if they would like to pursue a career in STEM. Regardless of life circumstances choosing for them, because I just don't think that's fair. So that's why I'm president of First Indiana Robotics. And also, if you feel like you don't know the answer to what problem you want to solve in the world, because that's kind of intimidating. Sometimes I get, you know, that from people. So I'm scary. Um, you can tell me what brings you joy. Or, as Chris Osborne mentioned, you can also say, like, if you're not a happy person, what makes you angry and what do you want to do about it? And the reason I want all this information is because what I want to do is, as the president of First Indiana Robotics, I want to give you the connections to go higher, further, faster, so that you are able to change the world. Yes, that was a Marvel reference. So, <sighs> okay, can we go to the next slide? Maybe? Okay, this is okay, we'll just handle it here. Okay, so, <laughs> in this state, we have some of the youngest key volunteers in FIRST. We are stubborn, we are determined, and we stayed up until 3 a.m. to ensure this field for this event was set up. And I'm just like my district. I'm young, scrappy, and committed, and I'm not throwing away my shot to change the world, and neither are you. So tweet that tweet and let's go get some robot teams started. And we'll have t-shirts. I'm just like my district, young, scrappy, committed, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Wow, all right. That was a lot to take in. And on a personal note, by the way, if you guys can raise $500 tonight, I'm not from Indiana. I'm from the next state over in Ohio. I will give you guys $100 in that tip jar tonight. Just have to raise $500, and I'll help you guys out, all right? So with that being said, thank you to all the teams and volunteers at the Bloomington District event for your hard work and gracious professionalism today. We've got another full day tomorrow with opening ceremonies at 9. And by the way, in case you weren't paying attention to the news, tonight the clock rolls forward. So make sure you get plenty of sleep tonight. You're going to lose an hour of sleep, okay? Opening ceremony start at 9. And a reminder that the pits tonight will close at 8 p.m. So it's time for us to power down and have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.